Hi, I'm Dan Weisenberger, and this is the calculation of temperature from osmotic pressure. So let's start by talking about osmosis. How do we, how do we define it? Well, osmosis is described in this uh, graphic here in which we have a U-shaped tube with water that's at equal levels on both sides. And these two halves of the tube are separated by a semi-permeable membrane, which um, will allow water to go between the two halves, but not any material. So if we add uh, sugar or any kind of solute to it, but we put more on one side than on the other, what happens for osmosis is that more water will go from the left side into the right side and increase the volume of this right side in order to make the concentrations of the two sides equal. And the osmotic pressure then is the amount of pressure that we put onto a liquid in order to prevent any net water from moving across the membrane and thereby we will keep the solution in equilibrium. So how do we calculate osmotic pressure? Uh, the equation for osmotic pressure is shown here where it equals uh, IMRT where I is the, is the Van't Hoff constant and this is a measure of the concentration of the solute in solution compared to what it's calculated as. So if it's something like sugar, this is a value of one. If it's something that's an ionic salt, for instance, then it's a measure of the concentration of the total ions in that compound uh, over what is expected um, mathematically. M is the molarity uh, that's in moles per liters and R is the universal gas constant uh, 0 0.08206. Temperature is the temperature in Kelvin. So if we want to calculate temperature, uh, temperature would equal I, no, pi over I M R. Yes. And uh, I'm Dan Weisenberger, and this is the calculation of temperature from osmosis.